Today is June 24th. Before I head out, I really want to make a stationary haul video because as most of you know, if you follow me on Instagram, uh, I spent the last month in China. And if you know, China has this poppin' site called Taobao. It's like eBay and AliExpress, but just better than you could ever imagine. There's so many cute stores for clothing, stationery, houseware. Every big brand like Zara, Topshop will have their official stores on that website. You can even buy food. And these things will usually, like on average, just arrive at your house within two days. And oftentimes you don't even have to pay for shipping. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what stationary stuff I bought when I was in China. There's different washi tapes, sticky notes, markers, stickers. There's a lot of cute stuff. I think I'm gonna begin with washi tape because I've never bought washi tape before, but uh, I thought it'd be a really nice way to spruce up my bullet journal. So the first thing that I got is this set of rainbow colored tape. They are really mini. They're so cute as well. They come like this and they were actually buy two, get one free. Probably gonna be giving these to my friends and each one is very tiny. I usually carry around this Muji pencil case with me. So it's so small, it just fits in perfectly as you can see or it fits into this bigger slot right here. Next up, for all my art hoes out there, because I know you're out there, I made a new Instagram called No Frickin' Way, and I've been following everyone back on it. And people who follow are just like really close friends or like really close internet friends like you guys. And it's really nice having a feed where I just go through it and it's all of your posts. All of you guys are really funny, talented, just like super duper cute, and I've like come across so many of you guys who are great artists so I know you art fans are out there and this set of washi tape well they're individuals but I picked four I couldn't narrow it down because they're so freaking cute but they're Van Gogh washi tapes I wasn't a washi tape person before but after I saw this I'm like <gasps> crying because they're so cute the starry starry night washi tape this is a Mm, foresty hillside view reminds me of like the south of France not sure what this is called and there's the cherry blossom one and this one is a countryside with a wheat field and last but not least I ordered this cat washi tape because I have a lot of friends who like cats and I thought I might as well just get this and someone's like birthday comes up or something I have a little gift to give to them Moving on from the washi tips. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, okay. This item isn't really stationary, but it is made of paper and it also was from a stationary store, so I'm gonna show it to you anyways. It is a flowery picnic garland. There are 12 little, or they're, I guess they're called bonnet flags. I already used this for my friend's surprise birthday party. I actually saw this exact same thing being sold in a Toronto stationery store for like 10 times the price. So moving on, I'm going to show you the stickers last because there's a heckin' lot of stickers and yeah, <laughs> I'm going to show you a bunch of these to-do lists that I bought because if you know me, I'm great at making lists. I like being organizing things. That's why one of the reasons why I have my bullet journal and I use it almost every single day. These I got more for friends. They're so cute that I don't want to use them. Does that ever happen to you? Or where there's food, like a really cute, beautiful like cupcake or someone okay honestly this doesn't really happen to me for food very rarely but it's just something that's so freaking cute and beautiful you don't want to use it or else it will be gone <laughs> which is why i'm just gonna give these to friends and um maybe family there's five different patterns the first one is the red leaves or i guess they're just red flowers really and then we have a, a party pigeon we have a little kitty cat pink to-do list and there's one it is 
the willow pattern as well as the lantern flower pattern there's 40 pages in here there's the subject and date at the top um, and then you have all of your bullet points below so I think this would be really cool to have like in the drawer of your table or just on top so you can stay on track with your life and school and all the stresses around you I make lists because I'm a stressed out person <laughs> and they help calm me down next I'm going to show you some of the sticky notes that I got I wasn't really into cute stationary stuff, but going into university and being in design, everyone's so hyped about this stuff and they totally make me hyped as well. It just like brings out my inner child because I used to love this stuff when I was little, which is why I got so much of it. Huh? Some of this stuff is for you guys. So I'm going to start with this one right here. It's a little watercolor corgi sitting in a teapot. Like who doesn't love that? Hello. And then this is from like the same series. It's a fox sitting in a mug playing a fucking banjo. Like, how can you not like this? It translates to candy poetry. <sighs> Tongues. What is poetry in Chinese? Shi. Oh, okay. So I guess the brand is called Tang Shi. The next two stickies are from infeel.me. Oh, it's a brand from Hangzhou, China. Okay, so this is the first one. Yeah, it is a little cute cactus. I love it. It is a watercolor piece of relaxo. The other one is a little cute bunny. Yeah, popping out of an envelope because we all need that in our lives. A heart that loves is always young. Keep loving, guys. Stay forever young. Oops, sorry, I forgot. I also got another bunny one. Yeah, look, he's in a freaking sun hat, sitting in a bunch of flowers. Or de Blumen, as I've learned. I've posted on Instagram that I need to learn German because I'm going on exchange in September. And so many of you guys responded saying like, oh, I can help you, blah, blah, blah. Like, I didn't even know there's so many German viewers so like shout out to you guys thank you so much i actually um skyped one of the girls jaylen the other day and thank you so much jaylen for spending like two hours on skype with me we we're just like chatting and helping me with my pronunciation my goal because she's asking me like oh are you gonna do any german youtube videos i was like uh lol by the end of my german exchange like by the end of the year so next year july I will do a fully German video with English subtitles, of course. But yeah, that is my fluency goal. The next post-its are from Garden Memo It. These are all from the same online shop, but they carry a lot of different brands. This one is a Korean brand. Got some nice little flowers right here. I like how there's a lot of space to write things. Um, this one says shalom on it and then this is the other one and on the back it shows you how you can use it and if you have them all sticking out of a book how cute would that be and then I got some other ones as well this is also from that brand the Korean brand memo it look it's a polar bear with a leaf on his head this just reminds me of like me and my sister taking our dog for a walk and then putting leaves on his head and then calling him Totoro. And then I got two of these because they're so adorable. I don't know if this is from a character, probably like some Japanese character. It's a little bun bun. Last one at least, we have this little macaroon sticky. It actually looks so much like a mac at all. I got green because green's my favorite color and I really like pistachio macarons. So this is not from Taobao. Well, it could be, I don't know. But this is from my friend Mary. She came to visit me in Beijing and it was on May 30th, so the day after my birthday. And she brought me two gifts, one which is this Iceland landform sticker notes. I don't even know if she knew this, but I went to Iceland on the way back from my Dutch exchange a few years ago in high school. So this is really cool to me. I really like Iceland. Oh, and this isn't really a sticky note, but it has to do with my need to be organized. And it is a daily memo pad. <laughs> Something like Gao Jiao, I don't know. Gao something. Gong Zuo, Kuai Le, Work well, live happily. Very small. 
like compared to the size of my hand. So you can actually fit this into your pocket if you wear loose baggy and oftentimes male jeans like moi. Every page is the same, but it is for your daily organization. It says a, B, C, you can categorize into how important it is to you. You can set a time for when you want to complete this, what you have to do, and then you write on the side whether it was completed or not. I just think it's so cute and well organized. I love how there's so many sheets in here. If I have a lot of stuff to do in a day, I prefer to have something like this where I can just list it out by itself and then have this on my desk or like rip it off and stick it on the wall. Whereas like a bullet journal, you either have to like lay it open the whole day, which takes up a lot of room on your desk. Oh, and the back is lined too, so you can just write normal notes on the back. This isn't stationary, it's more of an art supply thing. I've wanted something like this for so long. I think Faber and Castell makes one of these, but this is the Sakura brand. And it is this mini watercolor box. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, it actually has <gasps> cute. Ah! I didn't notice that till just now. But you open it up like so, and then you have a little tray like that that you can plop onto the other side for your color mixing inside we've got all of these colors and also foam on the side and actually comes with um these watercolor brush like water holding brushes i'm not sure what the official term is but you just put water in here put the lid on and then when you want to wet your brush you just squeeze the handle it came with 12 gifts it came with a watercolor paper pad it comes with this uh white gel pen oh it's a like a gouache pen this very very thin and delicate brush what I'm not sure what this is. It's just like a white liquidy thing. And it also came with a, an eraser, a pencil... Jesus Christ, I forgot what this is called. A pencil sharpener, um, two of these 2H pencils for sketching lightly before you paint. Yeah, and I think it came with another small paintbrush as well. Like, do you see why I love Taobao? It's amazing. And on the note of drawing utensils. I got a pack of these markers. They're more so highlighters, I guess. On one side, it's thick, and on the other side, it is a thin nub, and it says, color on color, the two become one. Twin pen. And this set also comes in two other colors. One of them is more like brighter primary colors and secondary colors. Uh, and then one is very muted colors. I had a little surprise party for my friend Melosha and I actually ordered her a bunch of cute stationary things. I don't have it on me anymore because I've already given it to her, but I took this video to show you. So it has this little clear plastic cash that says, I have no idea what I'm doing, which is how I feel like a lot of the times. There is a little doggo patch that I bought for her because she loves dogs, a little ice cream, uh, ice lolly patch, a pack of little dog stickers as your whale. Of course, had to include some funny world stickers. Had to include a pair of socks with dinosaurs on them too, because why not? Back from our time traveling, let's continue. Almost forgot to show you this because I've been using it quite a lot, but it's a little pack of white out. Look how adorable it comes in this kind of Muji case-like thing. It's just a plastic case really, but it's nice because once you're done using all these, you can still use the case. This is the one that I'm currently using, which is why it is labeled as Das Tip X. Fact check me on this. Is it actually called a Tip X and how do you pronounce it? I was originally going to get a um, regular, just like a big rolly um, whiteout, but these ones are really small, which is actually a very good thing because it also fits into my pencil case. These are all of the stickers that I got for my friends and some of which are for you guys. Bought a ton of stickers. Um, I don't even know which ones I'm going to keep because 
I bought it more so for the intentions of giving away to people because I just really like giving little gifts and bobbits to people. I'm going to start with this pack of stuff. So there is a polar bear. These are the different stickers on the back. I believe there are 50 of them in total as you can see in his little tummy. They're kind of like translucent stickers, which I really like. Uh, there is a little green duck on the back. Really cute ones as well. This is a like the Japanese snack. I've never had this before, but it kind of looks like a hash brown or like a meatball to me. And these are the stickers on the back of this one. A little cat version, like so, with some kitty cats on the back. I also bought some of these boxed stickers, which I just think are really cute. I've never seen stickers that come in this little box. It kind of looks like a washi tape packaging. It's a bunch of st like food stickers that have been rolled up pretty much. There's different strips of food related stickers so this one is all drinks this is for my friend who is really obsessed with food every single design project we have whether it's like um, coding a website or uh, like a typography project for some like event branding it's always food related so that's why i bought this for her the next one is this super cute little bear who is in different animal costumes the bear in a seal or walrus costume in a tiger costume um, there's multiples of each one because i think there's 50 in total um, I don't even know. Another one is similar. It's the same style as the two animal and mug uh, sticky pads that you saw earlier. So it's just a bunch of little animals. Like this is a little Merry Christmas fox sitting in a mug with a present. Um, what's the next one? Ooh, this is cute. It's a little uh, rabbit sitting in... Oh, he has like a cozy thing in his little carrot mug and there's a little cake beside him. There's a bear eating cake. There's a hippo swimming. Oh my gosh, these are honestly the cutest. And I got this for a friend who really likes doing watercolor illustrations. We had a nice conversation on the bus going home one day about how we don't really want to become designers when we graduate and she talked about how she really wanted to be like a traveling illustrator and honestly that would be such a cute job oh and this is for another friend who likes food and also cute things i have a lot of foodies in my program basically but it is this pancake sticker box so as you can see a little pancake with some fruits on his head a heart fruit on his belly this is him with a slice getting eaten out of him a little bit frustrated because he has another pancake or donut on top of him pile of pancakes pancake holding his butter jive into music i also got some sticker sheets so this one is a funny sticker world floral Oh, it's Flower Kitchen sticker set. And it's just a bunch of really beautifully illustrated flowers with gold, or sorry, silver foil like detailing on it. And then I have this sticker sheet, which actually has um, six different sheets inside of it. And it is the same character as this little bun bun right here. How freaking adorable. Just bunnies doing a lot of random things and um, I think it's very nice. The last thing that I want to show you guys are these sticker packs which I um, intend to give to you guys. So this one is a bunch of different little kitty cats sitting in various mugs like there's a Halloween mug, there's a lightning bolt mug, hearts, thank you mug, happy mug, okay mug. Oh, sorry, it's not lightning bolt. It's a charged cat. That's so cute. This one is a Starbucks 
latte set for all my basic bitches out there. Just kidding. None of you guys are... I don't know, it's a weird saying to say someone's like a basic bitch, but for all my coffee slash Starbucks lovers, I have a plant set right here. They're just a bunch of different succulents. As you can see, the colors are really, really nice in this one. It reminds me of like Miyazaki films. We have one for traveling it is a bunch of different uh buildings they're very european and they look russian to me although one of them kind of looks like a mosque so i'm not very sure and one of these cute like little japanese um towns or i guess these are more like little japanese shops stickers okay so let me tell you about the giveaway now in my yo shop like body jewelry haul i got a bunch of chokers that i gave away to you guys it was really cute like mailing things out but it was really sad too because i couldn't give stuff to everyone as you saw like most of the stuff especially stickers i bought are for my friends and you guys are like my internet friends so of course i have to buy little stickers for you guys too the way that i want to organize this giveaway is basically have five different winners and my plan is to do like a sticker pack with a sticky pad so for example because I'm like just an annoying human being and I like things to match, I was thinking of doing like a succulent sticker pack with a cactus um, sticky note. So this little coffee set would come with these macaron sticky notes. So that would be together. Buildings, coffee, shops, cats, and plants. So those will be the five different categories. But if you don't want them categorized and you want um, a little bit of everything, then comment mixed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all of your love and support. Just reading your comments, looking at your Instagrams. It's a nice way to see like what you guys are interested in, like where you live, what you like. Even though we're more like internet friends, I'm really excited to Hopefully meet you guys in the future as well. Like one um, girl, Aitani, she is from Mexico and she's in Toronto for the summer. She actually like messaged me and we got to hang out a few times as well. So yeah, that was like my first hangout with someone I met through YouTube, which is really cool. It's been really nice just like chatting to people on Instagram as well and knowing where you guys are from. So hopefully when I'm in Germany, I will get to meet a ton of you guys as well. And um, I plan to travel to surrounding countries, especially ones that I haven't been to like Portugal and Greece. And I know some of you have messaged me saying that you guys live there. Oh, I also really want to go to Israel and um, yeah, I'm just really freaking excited to meet you guys. So, yeah. <laughs> Have a great day, you guys. I'm so excited. Today has been a great day so far. Just learning German in the morning, film this video, and I'm going to head over to Toronto in a few hours for Toronto Pride. So, yeah. Bye, guys. Bye.